Uy. Hello fellow vapors. Again, it's me, Bog Spicer. And well, it's kind of late and I, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, you know, looking at my stuff here. And I want to do a quick video comparison of the Zeus Atomizer and my trusty 306. Well, as you know, all of my reviews and all of the videos that I have posted, I've been using my trusty 306 Atomizer ever since then. And it still fires good until now, so... Um, well, I can't use this classic right now because uh, the battery is charging. But, good news is, I do have this new baby right here. Yes, this is the gripper. And before the review, I'd, I just would like to, sh to show you, show, 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 show you the the body of the Reaper. So there, it's made of very mm, sturdy plastic, and I love the rubbery feel, hot spring, and of course safety vent hole, and. If you are using a Spitfire atomizer, you don't actually need to use one of these. This is a XL510 to 510 adapter because we all know that the gripper unique design is that the connector is way oh shit, I'm sorry guys. It's way below the body itself so if you use like the speed fire atomizer from e-pipe which is actually almost the same then as this uh, XL510 adapter it'll be very cool so I just charged this so it should have a 4.2 output the voltage drop um, I'm a bit concerned about it because given the fact that we have this adapter for sure it will consume well uh, the battery and oh very clicky kill switch this is also the switch that is used for the VMU mod now first stop well at the start of the video, I showed you my souvenir from ePipe with, uh, with their promo, and I just got that yesterday when I bought this and a juice. This is not really a new product. This is the juice atomizer, I just got it. And this is probably the first time that you will see me use a rebuildable atomizer with my reviews. Well, that is because I, you know, I love my commercial atomizers. So I'm not sure if there are there's a juice here. Let me try. And of course, you all recognize this guy, right? I'm not sure if there's juice here, but well. Oh, by the way, the build, the build, the build that it is that I'm using right now is four, uh, two folds, four loops of the Cantal wire, and I I can't take credit for that. It's uh. Dominic who built this for me. Let's see how it works. Hmm. It needs juice. <coughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. Burn case. App Store. My root beer just ran out. So. One, two, three, four. Five, five drops. Actually, the build that's in here seems. I don't know if it seems juice, but see that. That's messy. I have uh, a lot of vaping puffs before. You know, it, uh, you vape the cantalwar itself. Or you have you experience the dry burn. So again, Dom, thank you for the build. Now that it has five drops of juice, let's see how it works.
So there. That is the Zeus atomizer, rebuildable atomizer from E-Pipe. I like this product. Well, you can also adjust the connector here so that it can reach out the positive connection if you have different mods. So enough about that. This is the Gaian. Four month old. And take a look how it vapes. Wait. But don't get me wrong, I love the Zeus Atomizer. And since I already have the Zeus Atomizer with me now, I'm pretty sure this will go more than four months. Oops, sorry. 306 time. Four month old. Still flooded though. And as you can see, the vapor uh, is being blown away because it's uh, curtain windy right now. For me, the only drawback of this mod is that, well, as you, as you saw earlier, I also got the generic uh, battery from E-Pipe, but a lot of people have been telling me, and I also know for a fact that if you use um, good batteries in here with higher ma capacity or milliampere per hour, it will give you, like, for the whole day of vaping as well. Well, depending on how you use it still, but you see that? That's what you call stealth, right? One more time, I love this atomizer. You would even recognize the Canon tip that I've been using for all my other reviews. Very good atomizer as well. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm also a fan of Big Daddy and Warhead and Spitfire and, you know, all the good stuff. But guys, if you are looking for a sturdy atomizer as well, this one, I'm not sure if I got lucky, but if I did, good for me, because uh, it's worth the money. One more time, I love it. So there you go. Um, again, the gripper, stealth gripper with uh, showing you, just comparing vapor again with my, with the atomizer that I'm using right now. So, it, this only sh goes to show that you don't really have to, you know, spend a lot of money to get good vaping gears. You just have to be wise on choosing them. So guys, again. Thank you for viewing another one of my videos. I hope it helps uh, other vapors, uh, vapors, vapors, sorry, vapors out there, especially uh, the new ones who are just starting out. Vape proud, vape on. Bugs Meister out. Oh, E-Pipe, thank you for the t-shirt.